Thank you, Madam Dr. Akila Bukaram. And I want to thank, um, send also send greetings to the Honorable Salas Muhammad and Queen Mashaki Muhammad. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm honored to be able to speak on this panel. My name is Salia Muhammad, co-founder of Ayan Global, an acronym for Afro-Descendant Youth Network Global, Righteous Intelligence in the Fight for Human Rights and Self-Determinations for Afro-Descendants, and I'm from Washington, D.C. My vision of self-determination would be the unification of Afro-Descendants within the global diaspora for the purpose of autonomous external self-government. According to esteemed law professor Hurst Hanum, self-determination has two aspects, internal and external. Internal self-determination is the right of the people of a state to govern themselves without outside interference. External self-determination is the right of people to determine their own political status and to be free of alien domination, including formation of their own independent state. There were two critical points in history where the United States government had a valuable opportunity to allow the so-called freedmen, now known as African-Americans or Afro-descendants, the opportunity to manifest their internal self-determination. Malcolm X once said, revolution is based on land. Land is the basis of all independence. Land is the basis of freedom, justice, and equality. The first time the freedmen or African-Americans were presented with the opportunity to partake in internal self-determination when, was when, so, when, excuse me, was when spe special field order number 15 was issued. It was a wartime order proclaimed by Union General William T. Sherman on January 16, 1865. As we all know, after the assassination of President Lincoln, President Andrew Johnson confiscated the lands from the freedmen and issued them back to the former Confederate slave owners. The second time the freedmen or African Americans were presented with an opportunity to partake in internal self determination was during the establishment of the Freedmen Savings Bank, a bank established for the newly emancipated slaves. The bank, the bank was eventually embezzled of about $3.7 million from roughly 70,000 ex slaves, which is roughly about $1.3 billion today by its appointed white administrators. Based on these two instances alone, I do not trust in our ability to practice internal self-determination here in America without interference. Thomas Jefferson once said, every man and every body of men on earth possesses the right to self-government, and I believe it should be external. Thank you.